chucker, eh? How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to the Sharp Hand Path. I'm your host, Jesse Morgan. And today we have an unboxing to do or unpackaging to do for the Tiger Cage 1 through 3 collection. So I ordered the Tiger Cage box set off of Amazon. It was Region A and I was stoked to get the Donnie Yen Kung Fu films. And I've been waiting for it for probably about a week now. So here it is got it in the mail. I already ripped off the top so we can get to it quickly. Let's do this. All right. So here it is. And I'm already noticing something. Does that look like a box set to you? It's a, it's a little thin. <laughs> so yes, yeah, so this is the Shout Factory Region A Tiger Cage 1 through 3 collection. So, very interesting right off the bat. It's not three individual cases like the 88 films Region 2 or Region B set that the Europeans got and that the UK got. So, already it's a lot smaller and I guess will fit on your, your shelf a lot easier and make less space or take up less space. So I guess that's good. Let's open up the uh, inside and see what the rest looks like. So here we go. There's the DVD, the Blu-ray rather, and then the cardboard slip case that goes over top to protect it, I guess. Really cool cover art. Uh, I dig the dude in the, the mask there. And of course we got Donnie Yen front and center. Pretty sweet. A little disclaimer, I haven't actually seen any of the Tiger Cage films. I was originally going to start collecting these one by one from the old, just regular DVDs through either Amazon or eBay, but they seem like a little bit hard to find, and when you could find them, they are very expensive. So even though this isn't the 88 Films 3 Blu-ray case box set box set, I'm still happy to get these films in general, and then add on top of that the quality that Blu-ray normally brings to the table as well. So let's open this up very carefully, because I don't know how Amazon ships their packages sometimes. So there we go. There's the inside. Got a look at... A clip from each movie there on the one side and then in here we have kind of a, a flip book with Tiger Cage 1 Don Yen on Tiger Cage 2's disc and then disc 3 right here for Tiger Cage 3. I'll take the disc out so we can see what the actually you know what? I'll just take the cover art out so we can see the full effect. So here we go. There's the inside art. Pretty cool. Got Donnie Yen with the samurai sword there. Or katana. Actually, speaking of katana, this weekend or I guess by the time this goes up, it won't be the May 2-4 weekend anymore. But the weekend that I got this uh, yesterday for me, which is Sunday, I actually was out doing some katana training with my Shifu from Iron Leaf. So that was really, really fun. We all kind of just got together at a, a local park and the kids were playing at the park with their cousins and... <laughs> Shifu decided to bring out some practice katanas and go into the field with me and show me some maneuvers and striking katas and stuff like that. So that was really fun. Anywho, uh, let's get back to the box set here. Again, clearly not a box set. Clearly just one Blu-ray case with three Blu-rays in it. So if you are ordering the Shout Factory Tiger Cage collection, just know that unfortunately it is not going to be three individual cases with each movie uh, or a case with each movie it's just going to be one blu-ray case with the three movies in it with the cardboard slip cover 
it'd be nice if North America, aka Region A, got the fancy stuff like Europe does and 88 Films, you know, comes out with. I would love to have that nice thick brick of a collection on my Kung Fu shelf and martial arts shelf, but this will have to do for now. Perhaps in the future, Shout Factory will start doing some more high-end box sets like that. Well, editing me here, I had to pause this for a second because I want to just let everyone know that Shout Factory does in fact have a couple of legit box sets out. A couple of ones that I'm seeing are the Brave Archer Collection and two Jackie Chan Collections, Volume 1 and Volume 2. So that's pretty neat. And they're also coming out pretty soon with a Shaw Brothers Classics Volume 1 Collection. It looks like a huge, thick-ass box with, I don't know, maybe 12 or so films in it from the early Kung Fu Shaw Brothers days before the movies that are in the Shaw Scope Volume 1 and 2. So they do have a few things. We just have to probably wait for more to come. But yes, let's get back to the program. I also plan on getting the In the Line of Duty 1 through 4 box set eventually. It's about $101 on Amazon at the moment. Hopefully they still have copies by the time I save up. This actually, I forgot to mention, but this was $57 or $58 on Amazon Canadian. And after taxes, it came to $67 something Canadian. So, I don't know. A little over $20 bucks for each film stuck in one case. I don't know if I'm getting my money's worth there or not. I feel like if it was the three individual cases, I would definitely would have got my money's worth for, you know, uh, over 20 bucks each. But sticking them all in this, uh, I don't know. It, I'm, I have mixed feelings on it because on one hand, I'm stoked to get, you know, some early Donnie Yen films and, and all the other Tiger Cage content that comes with Tiger Cage 1 and 3. I'm not sure if Donnie Yen's in part 3 or not. I, I know he's in part 2, but yeah, I don't know. I'm glad that there's the availability now of them, and I'm glad that they have the Blu-ray high definition treatment. But at the same time, I feel like for the amount of money, I feel like I should have got three, three cases a case for each DVD and like an actual like box set brick and not them all just lazily shoved into one Blu-ray case. I feel like this is something I could go to Walmart and pick up for $24 Canadian. So yeah, hopefully we see some better quality releases from Shout Factory in the future and hopefully we actually get some more kind of out of print old Kung Fu films like this from either Donnie Yen or Jet Li or, or Jackie Chan, etc. There's there's some rare Jackie Chan ones that I wouldn't mind getting my hands on in, in proper quality because there's a couple that I got recently that did just look really, really bad quality. So they, they could definitely do from some high-end treatment. But yeah, so Sadly, North America doesn't get the nice 88 films box set treatment for the Tiger Cage collection, but we do at least have a Blu-ray definition collection in this, and you can probably find more copies on Amazon right now. So yeah, kind of stoked, but also kind of a little disappointed. Where do you stand with the Shout Factory release of the Tiger Cage Trilogy Collection. Do you have a region-free Blu-ray player so you can indulge in the 88 Collections box set? Or are you like me who just has probably their PlayStation or Xbox to play DVDs and you just kind of got to get your region, your region DVD? So yeah, let me know in the comments below. Also, before we head out of here, I want to make a announcement. We have a group now on Facebook called the Martial Arts Cinema Circle. So if you want to come there and join us and share your favorite martial arts films, share your DVD collection with us, talk about your favorite martial arts films, and share your videos with us if you're a 
content creator on YouTube or whatever, link us your videos on there too. We'd be happy to check them out and see what you got and have a discussion in the group there. So yeah, the link will be in the description box below. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Uh, about 50% or more that come here to watch these things aren't even subscribed. So if you like weekly to bi-weekly martial arts videos, whether it's cinema or actual martial arts, then this is definitely the place for you because we'll be doing a lot more of that stuff in the future. So yeah, consider subscribing and we'll see you in the next video. I've been your host, Jesse Morgan. And until next time, shay shay, na shin, and one on. We should run. We should hide. We should kick their butts.